An annoying time. An annoying time. This place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. We all bet we... We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the Albed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again. But now, why did things have to turn out this way? We could. More of these? Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long-form Let's Play of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. If this is your first time with the series, do know you can find a link to the playlist in the description down below. Of course, that's assuming you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching live on stream with me here, do note that I appreciate having you folks here. It's always fun to have folks to interact with and talk to while I play these games. Uh, and as well, we have all the various fun things that you can do in the in the chat in, with channel points, bit donations, and all that are definitely available to you. Uh, like what should be a goat scream right now, but of course Blurp is totally uh, deciding when and where it wants to work. But uh, <laughs> I do appreciate having you folks here. Of course, if you just want to sit back and relax and watch the, the stream, you're more than welcome to as well. I appreciate both my lurkers and my active viewers. You're all here and uh, that's what I appreciate. Uh, that being said, if you do, do want to join us live, you can do so every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv forward slash the biscuit eater. Um, yes, and yes, Cap, I do appreciate you trying to uh, troll my intro, but Blorp wants to be a poop head, so that's what Blorp is going to be today. Um, <laughs> but uh, with that being said, um, I do want to remind you folks that we are currently taking donations for the Extra Life Foundation, uh, specifically to help out the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals, specifically taking donations for OHSU Dornbecker in Portland, Oregon. These stream, these uh, donations go 100% to the charity in question, and they are used to help children in need who have particular medical needs, and in many cases uh, would not be able to do so without your generous contributions. There's more information down in the doobly-doo, both here on Twitch and on YouTube, so if you have more questions, do definitely ask. Uh, your donations can trigger certain events during the course of our streams, as well as some after the fact, so do look into that as well. But with that all said, thank you for being here, folks. We're going to go ahead and get ahead and get into the game proper. Um, <laughs> actually, and Tomb Wolf, I'll tell you, just about everything is nostalgia. I enjoyed 7 a bunch, but I also can't play it now because just the, the quality is very hard to get through. But I enjoyed the heck out of that game. Um, okay, let's go ahead. 9 was a cartoon... We were talking about this before the uh, the the uh, episode started. Nine was a cartoony one. Eight was the one with the really weird convoluted uh, romance and the whole scene on a space station. If I remember it, yeah, oh no, not the best game. There's very few best games ever out there for sure. All right, so um, let's see here. We before we get into actually playing again, we got a bunch of sphere grid. Uh, uh, progression to do here. So let's get started there. Ah. And actually, we're going to move you... I can move you there. That was all what we... That was all what we earned primarily in the desert getting here, Cap. Oh yeah, the the, the 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 major death in seven did uh, did get me did, did I didn't expect that, and I, I've always I've always approved of you know I have no problem with killing your darlings for uh, for for story growth. So ah, more HP is useful. Mana sphere, so more MP is good. 
Yeah, most of this cap was earned while we were just trudging through the desert last time. Armor break, nice, I'll take that, that's for sure. Can we get... Yeah, there. Yeah, I decided rather than... Because uh, we were already running late. On Monday, I decided not to spend it before the end of the night. More HP, always good. More strength, I'll take it. And defense. Okay, we got four more moves. Well, yeah, I, that... And that's why I think it worked as well as it did, and why it was so shocking to people, because games, just generally speaking, have always been afraid to kill off their darlings. What do we have here? What is... Okay, I'm not seeing any... It was... I'm looking for abilities here. I'm trying to decide whether I want to go this direction. Oh, that's level 3. Never mind. I don't have a choice. I don't have a level 3 unlock yet. So we know exactly where we're going. Okay. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move again. I get what you're saying. I, I think at the time it, it it served the story. I mean, it may not be it may not la be a lasting storytelling trope, and eventually all storytelling tropes get overused. But yeah, well, <laughs> that that's that's the beauty of storytelling. It's usually cop outs. <laughs> As a whole, storytelling is a is the the use of uh, of cop outs and uh, and tropes and archetypes and the like, just to push a narrative on in the first place. So, yeah, I mean you're not wrong, but yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron's done. Let's go to Lulu. What do we got for Lulu? Go ahead and move here. Another spell coming up, so that's good. Defense up. Well, and just as like there, there's not, not, there's rarely new thoughts in storytelling. Um, everybody's got to use the same tools too. Oh yeah, I mean, especially if you liked the, the the character, that's makes total sense to me. Okay, cool. We got some more HP with her. Yeah. It's also, the reason why uh, uh, also why it's a good reason to not just use. I mean, yeah. Yeah. What spell are we going to get? Bio. Fun. Okay, that was going to end Lulu's. Oh yeah, and, and that definitely isn't to say that, that authors don't use death way too flippantly. Um, I mean, I used to be one of those folks who... Uh, used to give uh, Joss Whedon praise for the killing of Wash, because I felt that was a, okay, people, you know, 
he killed his darling, and you don't kill your darlings. And then, well, time changes everything, and time changes your perspective on everything, and you realize, eh, maybe it's not so great. And that's okay, it, it, you know, coming to that coming to that realization does not make your enjoyment of a particular storytelling element at the time any less valid either. Just like being, being having been a fan of someone who's turned out to be problematic doesn't it, it isn't necessarily wrong either. In retrospect, you may choose that, to not uh, celebrate them anymore, but and it's, it's the same. It, it's really the same with tropes and storytelling. When it comes right down to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use that, because I want to know what this stuff is. Exactly what is that exact point is why I'm having such mixed feelings with the new hair. I have no problem, I have no mixed feelings about that. The, basically, the synopsis I've read, I'm not even interested in the storyline, so... My misgivings over JKR notwithstanding in the first place. I don't have any problem with the fact that I used to enjoy Harry, the Harry Potter series. I now realize that a lot of what she did was extremely lazy. You want to talk about someone who used death inappropriately, let's talk about Hedwig. Yeah. Eh. It 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 it. it. Eh. Considering everything going on and the, it, the 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 very fact it's focusing on goblins stealing children. Yeah. The movies did make up for it, yes. Agree. Absolutely agree. But yeah, considering the JKRS goblins are definitely coded for the uh, the Jewish people. Yeah, I got... Yeah, no. No, thank you. But we are getting dangerously close into, or have already kind of, we're, we're starting to veer into the the political, so I may have to call the kibosh on this pretty soon if we're not careful. But um, we're not to that point yet, but just kind of giving a heads up. Uh, definitely something I'm considering getting a release. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair. If you choose to, that's cool. I just won't be... I, I refuse to, to purchase anything that gives uh, JKR any, any additional... Any additional fundage at this point, and it's a personal choice. I have, I have not played a modern war for an fair, and I don't know how long. I that that uh, Twitch combat play it's never. <laughs> yeah, not we, we got. Sorry, we had to cut that particular one. It goes into the realms. Uh, Staying away from language, sorry, buddy. Uh, but yeah, no, I haven't. I have not played a modern warfare in ages. And Cap, if you could also get that that other word, I don't know why that other word is actually getting through the filter. Um, again, nothing against you, Tomb Wolf. It's just not something I like in my chat. Um, I use it in my personal life as well. It's just something I try to keep out of chat. Nothing on you personally.
No, no, don't worry. Not a worry. Um, I, I, it is a, it is a legitimate word that again I personally use it in, in real life, but it is a charged word and trying to keep things, uh, trying to keep things family friendly. Because that's my brand here. So, nothing on you. Nothing on you at all. <laughs> and we, man, this is taking. I apologize to those watching on YouTube. This is, uh, this is taking a while. But, you know, gotta get through it. And I'd, I prefer to do this on screen in case I have to make choices. I'm trying to, trying to, trying to, uh, speed through it as much as I can. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give her black magic spell. Sure. Let's see, uh, water. We'll give her fire. Why not? Sounds like fun. Yeah. Um, trigger warnings. Modern, yeah. Oh, the modern warfare games themselves are actually, from what I see, I mean, there, there's been some pluses and minuses according to people, but for the most part, uh, solid gameplay in many cases, and uh, people genuinely enjoy it for a good reason. Jess has never been my cuppa. Okay, let's go ahead and get this ability over here. Now, for hurt him, I think we're going to head back and now and go over to the Lulu side, so... Thank you, Cap. Appreciate you. I just gotta remember where the entrance to the Lulu area is. Here. Yep, okay, so that's that's where I need to move, so Wee Why can't I use oh because I, I didn't move far enough, that's why. Oh well, so we'll be able to do that next time. Okay. Okay, there! We got everything in there. Yeah, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing having shocking stuff in a mature game isn't inherently bad, because it makes it memorable, it makes it stick with the players. Yeah, exactly. And as long as it actually serves the narrative appropriately, no problem whatsoever with it. It just, it needs to have a point in the, in the narrative. Uh, if it's just, I mean, or it needs to be a game that actually calls itself exactly what it is. And is gratuitous for the sake of being gratuitous. I enjoy the Grand Theft Auto series. A lot of the violence in those is relatively gratuitous. Same with Saints Row. But they are what they say on the tin. And so I can appreciate that for the art of it itself. Yeah, shock for shock value. Just for the sake of shock value is hollow. Saints Row, at least the later Saint Row, Saint Throws, Grand Theft Auto, they're a parody of the human condition. And they're a parody, the parody of the hyper-violence, so it makes sense. I'm not going to outright say, but there's some public un unaliving that goes on, which serves... Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so... Um, that's right, I just wanted to check equipment. Is there... Really quick check of equipment. Just want to make sure I don't have anything that's uh, now better. Okay, piercing dark touch strength is five. Hmm. Uh, no, I like no. That poison's been serving me well, so we're gonna keep it. Yep. We're almost there. Cactar. Still nothing quite as good as Cactar yet. 
Thunderball. Oh, Thunderball, I need to I need to beef up that Thunderball later. I'll probably do that offline. Or at least in another episode. Okay. In fact, Cap, if you'll remind me in the uh, in in the mod forum that I want to do that, that'd be great. Okay. The serious aggressions of the game is yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, as long as it as long as it serves the story appropriately, that, or is part of the point, I got no problem with it. There we go, now we got the annoying background music. And since we did so much there, let's go ahead and save real quick. And for the last 20 minutes of this episode, since we spent 20 minutes doing all that, um, we'll go ahead and uh, actually continue with gameplay now. That took way longer than I intended. I apologize, folks. Um, <laughs> Yeah, saving me on PC is great. This is, well, no, no, this is not PC. Uh, this is on my Switch. I'm using uh, Capture. Where are you? Oh, gosh. Three of these things? Oh, dear. Okay, so... No worries. See when you get back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That was not who I... Oh, great. You took out Lulu? That's not good. Welcome back. Can I do this one well? I hate QTEs. I am horrible at QTEs. X, B, Y, A, left, right, A. Got it. Yeah. Do you see that cap? I did a QTE properly. Yeah, he, he he gets decent. Well, he's also got ice damage on it, so he's he's currently wielding an ice ball. <laughs> of course, I get a flame flame pump. Tomb of the Crypto De Oh. Cap, you're gonna drive me nuts. You're gonna drive me insane, aren't you? I'm not sure what it is, but knowing that him knowing my hatred of rhythm action games and QTEs. What the ever-loving... 
Okay, this is going to be their... Hardcore rhythm roguelike rip. Wow, you are trying to make me angry, Cap. I see how you are. Sheepers. I don't mind roguelikes, but I generally generally also don't enjoy them. I've had some that I've really enjoyed. It's just Jeez. Okay. Okay, it's time to bring in Lulu. Do these guys have... Oh, gee, okay, no. What's the buckle of the zombie survival? Hey, if you have fun with it, cool. Roguelikes can be, I, I find, typically fun in small doses. Yuna, where are you? Yeah, yeah. We played Hades for a little while. I, I enjoyed it for while I played it, but didn't last very long with it. But you know me, Mr. Easy Mode. Useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw your throw that shade all you want, Cap. Chimney Christmas. Okay, Lulu is not going to be of any use in this one because these guys don't really have any, and they're nine thousand each. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and cheer. Yeah, we got through just enough blitzball to. Oh, of course you confuse her before I can get her out of. Your pain shall be twofold. It really is so horrible. Hey, Cosmic Moonwolf, thank you for joining. We're doing well, um, aside from going against these blinking chi or chimeras or whatever they are.
And they are... Well, they're not... Uh, they're causing some trouble. I need to swap him out. But first, we'll go ahead and do a power break on you. Yeah, you missed 20 minutes of uh, sphere grid manipulation. <laughs> okay. Let me bring Riku in for a moment to... Yeah. Exactly. Hard hitting stat increase action. She's attacking herself. Actually. Okay. Oh, she's back. Okay. Let's see if this does any good. Come on, come on. Ah, wait. At least they healed her. Oh, take the Arctic Wind, sure. Take, let's, hopefully we'll take this one out with this. There, okay. Wonder, can he use it? Yes, he can. Sweet. So water and fire are half damage to the other. Others are, are not, so we'll take that. It's immune to that. Okay, fine. There you go. This will take him out. About time. Hopefully that counts as the boss. Probably not. An annoying talk. And my last ether. I'm giving it to Aaron. Uh. 
Oh! No going back that way. I guess I went the right way. An annoying time! An annoying time! This place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. We all bed. We... We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the Albed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again. But now, why did things have to turn out this way? We could. Four of these. While she's silenced, we're gonna bring in Waka and gonna have him silence them. I'll play this one a little differently. Okay. Well then, what next? Wait, you're set. Okay, so silence. So you can cast them anyways. Yeah, over each head right, exactly. Yeah, I guess it's not considered a spell. Oh, she's hurting too.
Oh. That was pointless. Okay. We finish this cutscene, and then uh, probably gonna have uh, is it cutscene? Nope. Okay. So let's do real quick magic. Everybody's good now. Hate wasting the, but he needs the he needs the M MP. All right, with that we're gonna go ahead and pause here, and we will be uh, taking a quick brief break uh, on the live site on the on the uh, YouTube site. We're gonna go ahead and close out the YouTube recording here. So, with that, thank you all for being here. Hope that you have enjoyed this. If you like what I'm doing here, please make sure that you help me out by clicking on the like button on this video commenting on the video to help me out with the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell. That way you'll know, know when new videos come up on the channel. I do post new videos to the YouTube channel every Monday through... Actually, no. It's every day of the week now, so you can uh, catch up on previous streams, some of the other, uh, other series we've done on the channel, as well as some of the stuff that we're doing offline as well. Of course, as well, you can find down in the doobly-doo both on YouTube and Twitch. Links to all my various other social media, ch media channels. So you can reach out to me and engage with me there. And I uh, can continue this conversation after we're done here. But with that all said, thank you for being here. I, again, I hope you enjoyed. And until I see you next time, game on, lovelies. <laughs>